Today, I'll show you how you can connect Google Sheets with your WooCommerce website. This is perfect if you want to easily analyze the data of your store, see how everything is going, if you want to filter or sort by coupon code, location, items ordered, or if you just want to share the information with team members without giving them a separate login. Having Google Sheets connected to WooCommerce can help you do all of that. So let's dive in. Okay, to get everything going, there's a couple of things that you'll want to already have set up. Hopefully you already have a WooCommerce store that you're wanting to connect with Google Sheets. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I have a whole video over here if you wanna watch this on how to get started and set up WooCommerce for your store. You also want to set up a Google Sheets. So you can go to Google Sheets website. You should already have an account. We can start with a blank page and then we're going to set it up so we can connect the two. So we'll name it really quickly, WooCommerce to Google Sheets. You can name it something for your business. And we'll just give it a couple of headings. We'll do name, email, phone, order products. And this is for all the products that have been ordered. We'll order total, because these are the items that I want to bring over. But the cool thing is you can import all kinds of things like the location, a coupon if somebody used it, and so much more. There's a lot that you can connect with this. The other thing we want to do is we want it to install and activate uncanny automator and what they do is they make all of these different connections and integrations between wordpress and whatever you're wanting to do with your website easy it's kind of like zapier for wordpress but without the high cost of zapier now there is a free version that you can use to get started but for this tutorial we're going to use the pro version because that is where the google sheet connection is once you create an account and log in then you want to go to your downloads area to download the plugin then you also want to come over and copy your license key and we can head back over to our WordPress dashboard. I'm going to go to my site. I'm going to go to my dashboard. And from here, I want to go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for the plugin, we're going to upload what we just downloaded from Uncanny Automator's website. And I'm going to left click, drag this up here and click install now. We'll activate the plugin and then we can move on. Then you'll see that you also want to install their free version, the Uncanny Automator as well. So we'll go ahead and install that. And now we'll activate that as well. Great, scrolling down, you'll see that now we have the Uncanny Automator and the Pro, and it wants us to activate our license key, so we can do that. If you ever need to come back, you can come over to Automator and go to Settings. And from here, we can enter our license key that we just copied, and let's go ahead and activate it. Great, everything's active, now we can move on. So from over on the left, let's go down to Settings and we're looking for the Google tab so we can connect Google. And you see on the Pro, there's just so many things that you can connect to and connect your website with. So we're looking for the Google connection. From here, you want to connect an account and then choose your account. And then it gives you some items that you want to allow. You definitely want to allow them to be able to see, create and delete your drive files, see, edit and create your spreadsheets and then click continue. Great. Once everything's set up, we can come over to the left and say add new. And this is for our recipes. And this is what Uncanny Automator chooses to use to connect your website with whatever you're connecting it to. And from here, you'll want to choose who you want the recipe to be for. It could be all users or logged in. So for this one, we'll do for everyone and confirm it. And now we'll go through and we need to give it a title. And what are we connecting or what will trigger this event? the WooCommerce will trigger the event and we want to trigger an event when a guest either completes, pays for, lands on a thank you page. So we're gonna choose this one. And what's the specific trigger? We want them, once they complete the purchase, we'll save this. And then I'll ask for another condition of any product because we wanna pull that in, but you can see that you can filter it by any of these items. So let's just say any product and save that. And the cool thing is now our trigger is complete. We see it's ready and it's live and it gives us a nice overview of if a guest completes an order with any product, then do this action. Now we need to tell it what action we want it to do. So let's click add an action and we want it to connect to Google Sheets. We want to write an item in Google Sheets. Now, since we connected our account with Google Sheets, we can select create a row in Google Sheets. And what it's doing is going out and looking up our Google Drive. And now we can select a Google Sheet. We start typing in the title and then it'll bring in the Google Sheet here. 
And now we want to set up the column. So let's say get column. So we'll go out and look for all the columns that are on that sheet. And now we need to connect it to our WooCommerce. We need to basically map out the two items. So for name, what name do we want to give it? If we come down to this area, then let's search for billing name. I'm going to do the last name. Next, we'll set up billing email, map them all together so we can save this. And scrolling back up, we see this is also live and it's ready to go. All right, so these two are ready to go. One more thing we need to do to put this into live mode is take, take this from draft. And let's go ahead and make it live. And now when I go to order one, then I can come over and see that this has been done. It entered all the information for me. You can do a couple of things also. You can look under automator, go to all recipes, and you can see the recipe going. It should trigger as soon as this happens. You see this is the title of it. And we see that all of these have checks. We have a trigger. We have an action. We have a completed run and it is currently live. We can click on this and it'll give us a little bit more detail of what just happened. And if you want to get set up with a WooCommerce store, then watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to set up your own store, how to set up the shop and install WooCommerce as well as all your products. And I'll see you over there.